Hey everyone, how's everybody doing today? Um, I'm doing good. Just uh, enjoying a beautiful Thursday afternoon here. Um, so the reason I'm making this video today is kind of, well this is going to actually be my first attempt at a blog. The tag team with Buck was just a little rant. I wanted to tag team with him about the uh, gymnastics, but today is going to be my first attempt at uh, a vlog that I wanted to try out. Um, so, but as you can see by the title up here, or over here somewhere, that today is going to be about um, a vision, having goals and objectives, and how to reach, how to reach those goals. Because I believe uh, goal setting and reaching your goals is one of the biggest things that people have trouble with, because people just go and like set a goal, and then think it's it should come easier. They should do one thing, and they automatically should get it, and then they get shot down, and then they stop trying. But that's not it. First, you got to have a vision. And a vision is um, how we see the world around us and what we want the world to become. So that's what a vision is to me. And then, like, you can say people set goals, and a goal is an idea, a concept, and the biggest one to me, a, dr uh, a dream. A goal is a dream. And then to help reach those goals, we set objectives. An objective is a point we want to achieve or a place we want to reach. So we got to set our objectives before we can reach our goals. So to tie a vision, a goal, and an objective all in together, we have to um, just work hard and do what we think will work best for us. So to tie these in together, a vision helps us form our goals. With our goals in mind, we create objectives. As we accomplish each objective, we accomplish our goals. As we come closer to our goals, our vision, becomes real. So that's how that whole thing ties together. That's such a, I kept looking down because I wrote it down. I wanted to share it with you guys because I believe that's the best way that one can reach goals is to set objectives and not just shoot straight for the goal and then they'll be disappointed when they get shot down. So setting a goal and setting objectives can be very tough. I know from experience because in high school I was really involved with student council and I dealt with this a lot, like leadership and setting goals for our group to achieve and setting little task and tasks and objectives to get there along the way. So I know it can be tough, and that's why I'm here, or I want to try to help, and I don't want to say inspire, but just maybe show people the ropes of how to set goals and objectives. And the first thing you got to do is set a goal. Like, that's the main thing you got to do. Because remember, a goal is an end toward which effort is directed. It is a place you wish to be. Um, it can't be defined or measured. It's something that you want that no one else can take away. And as you think of all the possible goals, there's so many out there. Like, you want to be a more effective friend. Or, like, you want to be a more infected, effective employee. You want to do good, impress your boss. See, that, that's, that's a goal that you can achieve. And I, um, like, remember, um, goals have a tendency to be ongoing. Like, they don't just, it's a goal, and if you reach it, it's not done. I mean, you can keep going further. They direct and uh, lead us to an end. They're not the end themselves, but they may lead us there. They're going to help us. They're going to piggyback us along the way to help us get to where we ultimately want to be. So, after you set your goal, number two is you want to set objectives. Uh, remember, um, objectives are created to help one reach their goals. There are little midpoints or uh, stations that you need to stop at to reach that goal. Objectives are steps to the goal. There you go. That's a good, good one I was looking for. Steps. They're exact, they're measurable, and they can be defined, whereas a goal can't be measured or defined. It's, it's just not what a goal is. Um, so like, you'll always be able to evaluate your objectives. You'll always be able to evaluate what you do along the way and how you do it. Um, your objectives are attainable. Uh, you can evaluate to any degree which you accomplish each objective. Um, I mean, that's that's basically the main thing. Like, you just got to set these objectives to reach your goal. So, I mean, you can evaluate, like I said before, all that you're doing. So, like, when you set your objectives, you can evaluate all you're doing. You can evaluate how you're doing. That's what marks the significant difference between goals and objectives is that you can uh, evaluate how you're doing along the way to reach that standard goal that can't be measured, that no one can touch that dream, that thing, that place that you want to be. But 
I guess that's really all I have today. I just wanted to try this out and see how uh, see how I did. And that's, I guess, for you guys to decide. So, I mean, if you, I know it wasn't the most exciting video, but I hope it was maybe inspiring or helpful in a way because that's what I love to do. I love to help people because, like I said, I was a big student council person in my high school and I really loved leadership and helping people. Yes. But, um, so yeah, like I said, if you liked it, rate it, subscribe if you like, um, leave some comments on what your goals are and what objectives you are willing to take to reach your goal. So all I'm really telling you is now is um, it's uh, your guys' turn. So good luck. Peace.